Hey guys, today we are going to look at literal equations. We're going to talk about what literal equations are and how do we solve for a specific variable. So literal equations are equations with multiple variables, such as formulas like y equals mx plus b or a squared plus b squared equals c squared. There are multiple different variables, and if you notice, there's no numbers in this one specifically. So to solve a literal equation, we are going to circle the variable that we're solving for. They'll tell you the variable that you're solving for. And then just like solving a normal equation, we're going to use inverse operations to isolate the variable that we're looking for, just like we would with a normal equation. They are not going to simplify nicely because there are multiple variables. So what we're going to do on these four problems is we're going to solve an equation with just one variable like we're used to. And then we will use the same process to isolate a literal equation so you can see how the process is similar. So let's start with this first one, x plus 2 equals 10. All you would need to do to get the x by itself is subtract 2, and we get x equals 8. So on this next one, I am solving for m. I need to get m by itself. What is happening to m? We are adding n to it. So I need to do the opposite of adding n, kind of like we did the opposite of adding 2 here. So the opposite of adding is subtracting. So I'm going to subtract n from both sides. And it zeroes out here, so m is by itself, which is what I wanted. And then p and n are not like terms. So I cannot simplify that any further. So it's going to just be p minus n. So m equals p minus n. Okay, let's look at the next one. I have 21 equals 7x. If I wanted to solve for x there, all I would do is divide by 7, and I get that x equals 3. Let's look at this next one. I am solving for a. a is being multiplied by m, just like the x was being multiplied by 7 here. So I need to do the opposite of multiplication, which is division. So we're going to divide by m. And then I get a equals, and f over m does not simplify any further. So that is how we would leave it, a equals f over m. All right, let's look at this next one. y would be the variable that I'm solving for there, so I need to undo the constant, and then I will divide. So let's go ahead and do that. I would subtract 4 from both sides, zeroes out over here, and I get negative 6y equals 16 minus 4 is 12. And then we're going to divide by negative 6, and 12 divided by negative 6 is negative 2. Okay, so now on this problem, I want to solve for y. 3x plus 2y equals 10, I'm solving for that y. So just like in this problem, I'm going to remove what is being added or subtracted, and then I'll remove the coefficient. So this 3 is attached with addition, so I'm going to do the opposite of that, which is subtraction. Make a 0 with it. And that zeroes out, and I'm going to bring down the 2y equals, and then 10 and negative 3x are not like terms, so I cannot combine them. And it's a little bit more proper to put the variable term first. So I'm going to write the negative 3x first. And then I'll put plus 10 since that 10 was positive. If you wanted to put 10 minus 3x, that is the same thing. It really doesn't matter. It's just a little more proper to put the variable term first. Okay, now the last thing I need to do to get y by itself is divide everything by 2. So y will equal negative 3 halves x, it's not going to simplify any further, and then plus 5. Another way you could have written this would be negative 3x plus 10 all over 2. Either of those work. You'll see it both ways. Okay, last one that we're going to um, solve a one variable equation first. 11 equals 2x plus 3. I need to remove the constant, subtract 3. And 11 minus 3 is 8 equals 2x. And then we divide by 2. 
and we get 4 equals x. So I undid the constant with an inverse operation, and then I undid the multiplication with an inverse operation. So we're going to do the same thing on this one. I'm solving for x and y equals mx plus b. So I'm going to remove what I'm adding first by doing the inverse subtracting. And I get y minus b equals m x and then I'm trying to get the x by itself it's being multiplied by m so I'm going to do the opposite of that which is dividing by m so I get y minus b all over m equals x and I know that looks weird but that's the most that we can simplify it since it's all letters so that would be the final answer Okay, now we're going to practice solving some more literal equations without comparing it to a one variable equation first. So in this one, I want to solve for h. I am adding j to h. So I'm going to do the opposite of that, which is subtracting j. And I get h equals k minus j. All right, next one I want to solve for d. D is being divided by T, so I need to do the opposite of dividing by T, which is multiply by T. Um, and this would be T times S. The most proper way to write that is ST in alphabetical order. And then the division and multiplication simplified out, so I'm left with ST equals D. All right, number three, I equals P R T. I am solving for T. T is being multiplied by P and R. So I'm going to divide by P and R. So those simplify out. So I over P R equals T. Okay, next one I want to solve for A, so I need to undo the addition first, so I'm going to subtract 4B, and I get W minus 4B equals 7A, and then we're going to divide by 7, and you can just leave your final answer like that, A equals w minus 4b all over 7. Or if you wanted to write it as w over 7 minus 4 sevenths b, you could too. Either of those work. Okay, next one I want to solve for d. So same thing, I need to undo what is being added to it. So I'm going to subtract bc and I get a minus bc equals 3d. And then the last step to get d by itself is divide by 3. And I get a minus b c all over 3 equals d. And number 6, I am solving for h. h is being multiplied by pi r squared. So I'm going to do the opposite of that, which is dividing by pi r squared. So V all over pi R squared equals H.